there, my name is Kelly Dale and welcome to Off the Beaded Path. I'm always looking for new projects to do and one of the videos that has got the most hits on our YouTube page is the watermelon ball or the beaded bead. So I've been looking for a fun new beaded bead and I think I've found one that you'll really enjoy. It's really simple and it doesn't take any time at all to make one. It's very versatile. You can make one using threes, fours, or six millimeter rounds or bicones. So <clears throat> get your bead and mat ready. Get you a needle and some illusion cord and we're gonna get started with this fun new beaded bead. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so here's the beaded bead and you can see two different projects that I've done the beaded bead with. I did a pair of red, white, and blue earrings here that are made using three millimeter bicones. And then I made a long chain necklace where I just um, attached the beaded beads to the chain necklace and I used four millimeters on this one. Now, whether you're gonna use the threes or the fours, you can use a size 11 seed bead. If you go up to a size six or a six millimeter bicone, you'll wanna go up to a size eight seed bead. So definitely pay attention about the size seed beads. Like I said, the same seed bead for the three millimeters and fours, but if you bump up to a six millimeter, be sure and bump up to a size eight seed bead. So these beaded beads are really, really versatile. They're quick to make. And the good thing about them, you can either use the illusion cord or you can use um, six pound fire line. But basically what you wanna do is if you're gonna use illusion cord, I have it threaded onto each end of about a 14 inch piece of illusion and I have using my big eye needles that are just the greatest thing that man ever invented. And basically, to start out with, what you're gonna do, I'm using my four millimeters, I'm gonna pick up a crystal a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, and a crystal. So you should have four crystals and three seed beads. And you're gonna let these beads fall down to the center of your cord just like I have here. Now with one needle you're gonna pick up one seed bead, bring it down and cross your needles opposite ways through the one seed bead. And when I pull it down I'm going to put both needles in one hand and then I'm just gonna pull the seed bead down so that way the seed bead will be directly or excuse me, my seed bead will pull down directly to the center of my circle and it will get on the center of the thread. So you're gonna have just a little small circle just like this one here. Okay, so next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna pick up that same pattern. If you don't like using the needle, take your needle off and just use it straight with the cord. Now I'm gonna zoom in even a little bit more here so you can get a little bit better look at what I'm doing. Now, each needle, we're gonna pick up a crystal, a seed bead, and a crystal. And I'm gonna let those fall. With one needle, I'm gonna pick up one seed bead I'm gonna bring the seed bead down just a little bit off of the cord or off the needle and then I'm gonna take the other needle and cross the opposite way through it and I'm just gonna pull my needles opposite ways. So now that makes two circles. And I'm gonna repeat this one more time. So each one is gonna pick up a crystal, a seed bead, and a crystal. Let those drop. On one needle, pick up one seed bead, 
across your needles opposite ways through the one seed bead. Now you have three circles. We're gonna repeat this one more time. On each needle, I'm gonna pick up a crystal, a seed bead, and a crystal. Now, my thread is exiting here. And just like the regular watermelon or beaded bead, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna cross my needles opposite ways through this seed bead here on the very end that I started with. And I'm gonna pull one through, and then I'm gonna take the other needle and pass it through. It may get a little tight in there. And so that now, when you pull your two needles, get all your threads untangled if you got any tangled here, which looks like I got a hot mess. Get it untangled. And if you get it tangled, just get it untangled. Sometimes when you cross around, your cords get tangled up a little bit. No biggie. There we go. Okay. So now you have a circle. Your circle is not complete yet and it still looks a little wonky. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that on this next step. So your needle is exiting out of one of the middle seed beads. And what we actually wanna do now is we wanna stitch the cord around to where we're exiting out of one of the four seed beads on the side. So we're exiting out of the center. We're gonna take one needle and stitch her out to the next seed bead on the outer edge here. I'm gonna pick up a bicone and I'm gonna come through the next seed bead on the outer edge on that same side. And when you pull, that crystal is gonna go in between these two crystals here and pull it together a little. I'm gonna pick up another crystal. I'm gonna come through the next outer edge seed bead coming around in the circle. So when you pull it, that'll bring that together pick up another crystal, come through the next seed bead on the outer edge. So now you have three, and then pick up your last one and go through the seed bead that we started with on the side. And make sure if it starts getting loose, pull the other thread on the other side so that way that side tightens up. So that now that encloses that side. We are gonna flip over to the other thread and we're gonna do the same thing with the other thread. We're gonna take the needle, it's coming out of the middle right now. We want it to be coming out of the side so we're just gonna stitch through a crystal and a seed bead to get there. Just like we did the other side, we're gonna pick up a crystal and we're gonna come through the very next seed bead on the outer edge. Well, my needle just popped off. That's not what I wanted. Try it again here. There we go, much better. 
And again, if anything gets loose, just pull it back tight. That's the good thing about using an illusion cord. Everything will pretty much pull back tighter. Okay, pick up a crystal, come through the next seed bead on the outer edge in your circle. Pick up a crystal, come through the next seed bead in the outer circle. And then pick up your last crystal and come through that very first seed bead in the outer circle that you started with. So that now, your beaded bead is an actual round bead with all different sides and all sides are exactly the same. So what you wanna do at this point is stitch through your beads to exit out next to each other. And sometimes I find it easier at this point just to take the needles off because you'll be able to get back through your beads a lot easier without the needles. And so what you wanna do is just stitch back to where you're exiting next to the other thread. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna tie the tail on one side and the tail from the other side together. So stitch your pieces together and I'll stitch mine and we'll see the finished product. Okay, so I've got my threads tied off and you can see what a cute little beaded bead that you've got. And if you wanna make it into something, all sides are the same. So let's say I'm gonna make it into an earring I'll pick up a four millimeter. I'll stick it straight through one of the holes to come out the other side. And then I'll put on another four millimeter so that it will hold it, the beaded bead in its place. So then it gives you a completely new look to the beaded bead. Um, basically, this pattern for the beaded bead was originally a necklace pattern that I found out of the book called Crystal Brilliance and it's by a wonderful lady named Anne Elizabeth Drager and it's a great book for you to get if you don't have the book I suggest that you check out your local bookstore or go on Amazon to find this really really wonderful book um, basically that has all different kinds of really cool crystal projects in it um, this is actually the, the necklace that I took the beaded bead pattern from. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this, this book and this projects out of this book. So I definitely recommend this one for you. And uh, you can see I've got my name on it so nobody can take mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you again next week. Be sure and check out our Etsy site which is located at the bottom of your screen so that you can check out all the wonderful products we carry.